No forgiveness for Haz and Meg. Kate broken as biggest liars Sussex is cut all ties with royal family. Kate Middleton is reportedly really, really upset about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's estrangement, says Insider. Meghan and Harry stepped back from their senior royal family roles in January 2020. Their comments to Oprah in March 2021 about their experience as working royals, the racism they experienced, including from family members concerned about how dark Archie's skin would be, and disregard for mental health from the firm, royal family and staff, made global headlines. Meanwhile, Kate Middleton and Prince William have supported each other throughout the royal family's ongoing estrangement from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the Sussexes' claims of mistreatment and racism during their time as working royals. Kate has been really, really upset about it all, one close insider tells people in this week's cover story. One friend told the outlet that the only silver lining is William and Kate have a stronger relationship because of it. Everything with Harry and Meghan has been hugely stressful, but if anything, it's pulled, her and William, closer together, the source said. She was upset about it because, William, was so upset. Seeing her husband so distraught was tough. The topic of Meghan, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, has caused some rare candid moments for the couple. Shortly after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey, during which they revealed there were concerns and conversations about how dark, Archie's, skin might be when he's born. Prince William told reporters, we are very much not a racist family. A friend added to people that generally, Kate is no pushover. She has an inner strength for sure. Kate has not said anything publicly about Meghan and Harry nor did she ever defend them when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were working royals and continually smeared by the British tabloids, to the point that Meghan sued the Mail on Sunday's publishers and won her case. Privately, Kate and Meghan were never close. Royal reporters Omid Scobie and Carol Rand wrote in their 2020 Sussex biography Finding Freedom that Meghan would agree with the assessment that the duchesses were not the best of friends. Their relationship hadn't progressed much since she was Harry's girlfriend. A source told Scobie and Rand that Kate felt the two didn't have much in common other than the fact that they lived at Kensington Palace. Meghan and Harry ultimately moved from Harry's Nottingham Cottage home to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor and then, ultimately, put down roots in Montecito, California. Last month, Kate was quick to change the subject during a visit to a school when one of the students asked about Meghan and Harry. What else? She promptly responded. The past year has seen another shift within the royal family as 95-year-old Queen Elizabeth has curtailed some of her public activity amid health concerns. As a result, Kate finds herself closer than ever to the inevitable historic moment when she takes her place as Queen Catherine alongside the King William. She is more and more impressive as time goes on, says a source close to the royal household. She is a focused and professional woman. Recently, Kate Middleton has reportedly blasted Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with a clever event planning tactic. Royal expert Rebecca English made this claim during her appearance on the Palace Confidential podcast. There she claimed, I think it'd be a fantastic event every year that will complement things like the honours and the garden parties that we have to celebrate our community heroes in this country. I'd love it if they thought about it every year and I think it's worth pointing out but what I think was quite clever about it. This is becoming a bit of a trademark is although she devised the idea and her team organized it, she was very clear not to make it about her so although she wrote to forward in the order of service. No big deal was made of it wasn't read out she didn't stand up, she didn't do a reading she really made sure that it wasn't about her which is not always the case when it comes to members of the royal family or ex-members of the royal family. Before concluding she was also quoted saying, I thought, it was a really clever way to do it. It was about saying I'm using my convenient power to bring people together but this evening is about saying thank you to those people who've made a very difficult year for us that little bit easier.